Okay, guys, so in this section, we're going to be talking about properties of alcohols and technically ethers too. Just doesn't say that in the title, I don't think. Um, but the first thing we need to do is talk about how we classify alcohols. So alcohols are classified by the number of alkyl groups attached to the carbon atom, which uh, is bonded to the hydroxyl group. So it's important that we talk that we really emphasize that it's attached to the carbon atom the hydroxyl group is attached to. And you'll see why, because we can get tripped up pretty easy on this. We have three different types that we're going to talk about, or there are three different types, not just that we're going to talk about, but there's three different ones. The first one is called primary, the second one's called secondary, third one's called tertiary. These are uh, shorthand by also these little numbers. So we can put one with a degree sign, or two with a degree sign, three with a degree sign, uh, to show the different types. So a primary alcohol, what that means is that there is one carbon atom attached to the car carbon atom of the alcohol. So we're gonna have our alcohol group, and we're going to have our carbon attached is what we're going to be looking at. So this carbon that I just highlighted here, is the carbon that we need to look at for how many carbons are attached. So actually, let's just copy this for all of our uh, examples. So all this is kind of like our, our, just our template, right? So every single time we're gonna have an oxygen connected to a carbon and that carbon will have three other bonds to other things. If one of those other things it's connected to, what color should we do? Hmm. Let's do red. One of those is a carbon, then this is a primary alcohol. So an example of this is ethanol. So this carbon here that is attached has one other carbon attached to it. A secondary alcohol has two carbons. Maybe we'll put, instead of a carbon, well, let's put R to stand for whatever else is there. When we have a secondary alcohol, we have two R groups, two carbons connected, and one hydrogen connected. So we have one, two. An example of this would be something like isopropanol, where when we look at this carbon again, that's connected where the alcohol is connected, that carbon I'm going to highlight and you can see that I have one, two other carbons attached to that carbon. And then tertiary is going to have three carbons attached to that carbon. So all three of these are going to be R groups. One, two, three R groups connected to the carbon of the hydroxyl group. So an example of this, uh, this is technically called tert-butyl, uh, tert-butanol, but you guys don't need to know that particular name. So it has on this carbon here, it has one, two, three other carbons attached. Something that I will tell you right now is the easiest way to do this while you're learning is to draw in all of your hydrogens. I'm gonna start saying that a lot. But on this first one here, we have, if we're not exactly sure how many carbons are attached, we can draw in our hydrogens to make it clear. We have an, a, our hydroxyl group on, as one of our things, then we have three other things. How many of those three things are carbons? If it's one, it's a primary. If there's two, then it's secondary. If there's three, it's a tertiary. Okay, so let's practice this a little bit. Classify the following alcohols as primary, tertiary, primary, secondary, or tertiary. So take a moment and try this on your own, and then I'm gonna go ahead and go through them now. So this first one, I'm going to look at the carbon attached to my alcohol. So I highlighted it here. I'm going to draw in my other hydrogens. 
So right now, the carbon I highlighted has three bonds to it shown. So that implies that there is one more hydrogen. Okay, so let's count how many carbons are attached. We have one here, two here, and that's it. So that means that this is a secondary alcohol. Okay, let's try this next one. I'm gonna highlight the carbon that's attached to my alcohol, draw in all of my hydrogen. So right now I have two bonds to that carbon. So I need to have two more so that my carbon has four things attached. And then I'm going to number or count how many things are not hydrogen that are attached or that are carbon. In this case, we only have one because we have two hydrogens with the other parts. So this is a primary, let's write that secondary. Primary alcohol. And our last one, we have our alcohol and it's attached at this carbon here. We're going to fill in our hydrogen. So I'm looking at this right now. This carbon already has four bonds showing. So you might want, in this case, we don't have to draw in any hydrogens. So let's number them one, two, three things attached to that carbon that are not the oxygen. So this is tertiary or three degree sign. Okay, so that's how you classify alcohols. Go ahead and keep practicing it, guys. I'll see you next time.